Okay, so I've just been kind of enjoying the walking and filming. I just like walking. I don't know. Something about it. It's simple. It's nice. And I uh, also have been filling the time that I was taking before. Oh, I don't know what I just stepped on. Uh, the time that I was taking before editing these videos, which was um, numerous hours doing that. And I've been filling my time with some other stuff, like creative outlets. I've been writing a little bit more, reading a bit more, kind of want to start drawing more. So, um, there are a lot of birds in these trees. I don't know if you can hear them because there's cars behind me, but... It's pretty cool. Lots of them. That's what I've been doing with that. But also, I just feel like when I'm walking, my head's clearing, and I, um, yeah, I like talking and walking. So here are some goats eating an old Christmas tree. What's up, dudes? How goes? Oh, hey. That's not nice. You guys gotta share. Alright, see you later. Anyways. Uh, yeah. So, I think that the uh, video today, I want to talk about some more nice deeds that were done for us when we were on our travels. And we were still in Paris. We were still on a budget. And we we're still in need of a place to stay. So we got on couch surfing again and we found another host. Her name was Benedicte and she was awesome. Fellow world traveler. Had tons of stories to share with us since we were fresh out of the gate. Having not traveled a whole lot, we were able to um, hear some of her experience and tips. And so that was quite awesome. Pretty horse. Hello. Oh. I don't know what spooked the birdies, but they went away. See ya. Hey. Yeah, the nod of approval. So I think she lived with a few other people. One guy was super passionate about gardening and he had an amazing garden out back, which was awesome. And I'll probably link in some photos or, whoa, that was a rock. <laughs> I'll probably uh, put in some photos to show you how amazing his garden was. We actually picked a whole lot of vegetables from their garden and made a whole, um, it was like a pie, like a vegetable pie out of it. Almost like you hear of meat pies from, um, like Great Britain and stuff. That's, it was like a vegetable pie, so that was quite awesome. It was delicious. It was the first time I had made a pie. And it was, I think it was her first time too, so it was 
a learning experience for both of us. But it was quite delish. And so was the wine. We stayed up for hours chatting with her friends and her, and we had a place to stay on her um, pullout bed. And yeah, we stayed for a couple nights, and super nice to just be shown such hospitality from strangers, you know? So that was incredible, and we are very, very thankful for your kindness. Benedicte, thank you again so much. And another one approaches because of this little beauty. Oh, it's camera shy. Come on, come get the apple. Come on. Hey! That's my best horse call. Horsey! <laughs> Apple sticky. Ew. Come on. But, uh, yeah. Oh, we're getting a little bit of sun peeking through the clouds. I thought it was gone for good. Let's see. Ah, don't know if it's stable or not, but ah. Um, all right, yeah. Oh, I did have a joke, but I forgot to say it at the beginning. I'll say it now. Um, why did the hipster burn it? Burn his tongue. Do you know? No? Because he drank his coffee before it was cool. <laughs> I might edit that one out. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but, yeah. Alright. Well, that was my walk and talk story of kindness abroad. As always, if you want to share your own story, contact me either via email or Facebook page instant message messenger and um, if you want to support this show and you watch it each week and you want to show that you like it just hit the like button you can share it by sharing it you can comment just say hey what up cool video or uh, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel or like the Facebook page. Tons of things you can do. You can donate to the GoFundMe if you want. Um, yeah, a bunch of stuff. But I hope you're having an awesome Monday. I'm going to try to cross the street and not get hit by a car. Ooh. And... Yeah, I hope you have a great rest of your week. And if you can take anything from this video, I would say maybe just do something kind for somebody today. If you don't do it today, maybe sometime this week. Tell someone you like their hairdo or their sweater or their scarf or whatever or their eyes I always look at people's eyes they're pretty alright well I think I've rambled on enough on this walk I don't know how much of this I'm going to use or not but if uh yeah if my arm doesn't give out before I hit this record button because it's tired um I want you to know I love you, and I hope you have a good day. Bye.